Hi, I'm Bobby Lee from Square. Today I'm going to walk you through our Locations API. The API is used to grab data about a business's locations, such as their addresses, names, and business hours. Many sellers have multiple locations to allow them to separate their sales activity, inventory, receipt layout, and reports. The first location created upon signing up for Square is considered your main location. Most objects for other APIs are scoped to a particular location, so it's very important to be interacting with the correct location ID when working with our APIs. With the Locations API, you can create a location, retrieve a specific or list of locations, and lastly, you can update one. Something to note, if a location is no longer needed, its status should be set to inactive. You cannot delete a location. Let's get started by creating a location in the API Explorer. When in the Explorer, double check you're in sandbox mode because we're just testing things out. Set the API to locations and the endpoint to create location. Something to note, the location name is the only required field and must be unique within a seller account. The location name is different from the business name, which can be identical across locations, but it's visible to customers on receipts. Simply put, names should be used to differentiate between locations and your seller account, while business name should represent your public facing identity for that location. So let's name it Salt C Seattle and the public facing business name to Salt and C Market Seattle. Now, as for the other fields to fill in, the rule of thumb here is to include any information that you care about for that location. So I'm going to fill in a couple more fields. Address. Phone number. And type. Physical. Now run the request. And save the location ID for when we want to practice retrieving and updating the location. So now since we know the location ID, we can retrieve the specific location information using the Retrieve Location Endpoint. This endpoint also supports specifying main as the location ID, which will return information about the first location created when the seller account was created. So back in the Explorer, set the endpoint to Retrieve Location. Keep the same access token and paste in the location ID, and run the request. See here in the response, it's the same location we just created. And like I said before, you can also request the main location without knowing its ID by typing main as the location ID. Okay, cool. Now what if we want to update a location? Change the endpoint to update location. Grab the location you want to update from the dropdown. And let's adjust the nickname to Bloomington and run the request. So that's pretty much it for the Explorer demos. The last couple things I want to mention is that the Locations API supports webhooks for both location created and location updated. And finally, each location has a merchant category code or MCC, which are a description for the types of goods or services sold at that location. For more information on MCC values and descriptions, see the link in the description below. And that's it. We went over how to interact with the Locations API in the Explorer, its webhooks, and merchant category codes. I showed you how to create, retrieve, and update a location, which webhook events are supported within the API, and what merchant category codes are, and how they work with the Locations API. If you have any further questions, let us know in the comments. Happy coding!